A party people, first things first. What do we always do when we're doing any word problem? First things what? Yeah, read the question. Read the question no matter what. That is the money right there. And it's not going to be the if. It's really going to be you know, the who, what, when, where, how many, which of the following. Always that right there. So how much money does Barbara have? So whether you are a percent pro or you're a percent weenie, doesn't matter. Everybody, before we begin, does it make sense that the problem is asking us to find how much money Barbara has? Right? We don't need to be an expert to know that. We can see that it says right here, how much money does Barbara have? Great, write that down. So Barbara has... And then we'll just say some money. I'm going to leave it blank, but I'm going to keep that in my head or on paper. Your choice. But the purpose of just going through that is to help you solidify. Yo, this is the piece of information I'm going for. Let's now figure out how to work what we have to find this piece of information. So the next step, the next natural step is once I know what I'm looking for, let's write down the given information. What do we have? So next up. Let's go ahead and do that. So let's read what we have. It says, hey, Barbara wants to buy an item that costs $14,200. If she has 58% of the needed cost, then how much money does Barbara have? Okay, so let's write that down. First thing I saw here was the item that costs $14,200. All right, so let's just go ahead and write that down. And then number two, it says that she has 58% of the needed cost. Okay. Before we continue, just want to take a quick moment to thank you for watching this video. And all I ask is that you please like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. That way more people just like you can see these videos. But on top of that, if you're looking for more ways to practice the right way and raise your score with guidance without stressing, then I really wholly 100% recommend my ASVAB All Access program. The program, long story short, helps you watch, practice, and master every topic from the word knowledge to paragraph comprehension, arithmetic reasoning, math knowledge, general science. It's there and it's designed to help you succeed with practicing the right way. So with that said, check out the link in the description to see how it all works because you're gonna have ways to learn in every way that you prefer. And you get my guidance and my support all the way until you pass. So don't hesitate, stop feeling nervous and being anxious and letting yourself feel that way when there's a solution waiting right here for you. Check out the link in the description, that way you see how it works, and then reach out to me if you have any questions about it. Let's get back to raising our scores. So, Let's write all that down just to make it very, very clear here. So we're looking for how much money Barbara has. We're told how much money she needs, you know, the cost of the item. I don't know what she's trying to buy, $14,200. I don't know her life. I don't care. But Barbara's trying to buy an item. That's the, that's the amount of money that she needs. She has 58% of that. How much is that? So... Can anybody go ahead and write the formula down for me in the chat box again? What's the formula when dealing with percents? What's the formula again? Write that down for me. Percent times the original equals the result. Yep, flooding in there in the chat box, exactly. So let's write that down. So the percent times the original equals the result. Okay, so sometimes everybody, um, the original number, let me talk about that real quick. The original number always represents 100% or the grand total or the whole thing. You know, what you're, what you're going for, like the whole thing. So what number that we've written down so far represents the whole thing or 100%? Is it the amount of money that Barbara has or is it the cost of the item? Which one do you think it's gonna be? 
Okay, so I see a lot of people talking about the cost of the item, and that's correct, because that's the grand total. The 100% of this problem is that 14,200. Let's pretend that it's like a, you know, a, a, a really fancy golf cart or a car or whatever. You know, whatever that item is, whatever it costs, that's the grand total, that's the 100%. That's the original thing. So, that's the number we're gonna be plugging in right here. That's the original number. Now, that was probably pretty, hopefully intuitive to understand, but this next part is really the most important thing. Like, this is where we really start digging in and learning percents. So, everybody, there's clearly a percent written down here, right? There's clearly a percent written down. It's 58%. So let me just highlight that right there. Now, everybody, what does that percent represent? What does the 58% represent? What does the 58% represent? Who knows? I see someone says, uh, Let me scroll back up there. Okay, so cost, the cost, needed cost, the amount she has, how much money she has, the needed cost, out of 100, the percent, the amount of money she has. So remember, the 100%, that's the whole thing. That represents the cost of the item. That 58%, that's how far we are. That's how much we have compared to 100%. So notice that it says right here, and I'm gonna highlight it. You've seen the word already but you may need to get it highlighted to really see it there. Has. 58% represents the money Barbara has. Is that fair? Yes or no? 58%, we said it, we wrote it down, represents the money Barbara has, that 58%. Okay, so let's write that down. Let's write that down. Has 58%. And uh, can anybody remind me, before I continue, pop quiz, uh, what, what, what was that uh, main idea that I gave you about that percent formula? The dur -dur 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 is the dur -dur -dur you, you get? What, what, what did I say? Help me out. Who's on their toes? I love this part of class. What was that secret main idea? <laughs> the percent you apply is the result that you get. Who remembers me saying that at some point in today's class? The percent you apply is the result that you get. Hmm, what does that mean, coach? Well, here we are, finally we're here. The percent represents what we have, what Barbara has. So the results that we're gonna be talking about here, let me just move this all down for the sake of organizing this. So the result also represents the amount of money. Has money. So if the percent is telling you, hey, this is the percent of the money that Barbara has, then the result that you get in that formula, if you plug in 58%, that's what she has, then the result is the money she has. If the percent that you put in is how much she has left, the percent that she has to go, then the result is the amount of money she has to go. If the percent is the percent of money that she puts towards her electric bill each month, wink, wink, for this set of problems. If the percent represents the percent that she puts to her electric bill, the result is the money for that electric bill. Are you guys starting to see how this formula is gonna help us get the answer very quickly? Because what we're looking for indeed is the amount of money that Barbara has. We're looking for the amount of money that Barbara has, and so therefore, if we plug in the percent that Barbara has, we can solve that and we'll get the money that Barbara has. Yes or no, does that help us out there? Cool, welcome to the math party. So we're gonna go ahead and plug everything in here, 58% times that original value of $14,200. That's gonna give us the result. And that result, again, is the amount of money that Barbara has. So that's all we have to do now. All we have to do at this point, I'm gonna let you take a quick screenshot if you'd like to. 
But all we need to do now is figure out what 58% of 14,200 is, and we're good. Cool, so here we go. Next thing, we'll do this on the side. I'm gonna zoom in because I don't have that much room to go. But we have 14,200 multiplied by 58%. Everybody, what is 58% as a decimal? Is it 5.8, 0.58, 0 0.058? Which one is it? Correct, 0.58. You can also say 0 0.58, that works out too. And so, let's get it done. And just like you're watching this video for free here on YouTube, I got more free materials for you, my ass bad party people. We've got a free practice test that comes with video solutions so you can learn from every single mistake and identify those topics that you need to crush and work on. And on top of that, you can get a free class with me on Zoom once a week. And so that's all included in my free practice test with my free class included. Click that link in this video or in the description, sign up, keep learning for free and keep raising your score. I'm proud of you. Let's keep working hard and let's get back to the problem. So first row, I'll go ahead and do in red. So, or I'll actually go ahead and do in purple. Zero times eight, zero times eight, two times eight, that'll be 16, carry the two. Four times eight, that'll be 32, carry the one, that'll be 33. And then one times eight, that'll be eight, carry the three will be 11. Then from there, We'll go ahead and take it to the next line. And since we are moving lines, we're gonna go ahead, put that zero there. So first up, we have zero times five, zero times five, two times five, that'll be 10, carry the one. Then we have four times five, that'll be 20. Then bring that one back, that'll be 21. And then we have one times five, which is five, then carry the two, making it seven. So now that we're here, a lot of work so far, but we're almost done. We have zero, zero. Now we have to add everything up. Six, three, two, and eight. Woof. And with all that work done, everyone, how many decimal places do we move back now? All right, we bring them all back and that's gonna be what? Two, three, what? Two. Yep, it's gonna be two. Because we have right over here, one, two, one, two, so that'll be, as a final answer, Barbara has $8,236. And there we have it. Yes or no? Are we feeling better than we did before? Better than when we were trying by ourselves? Do we understand that what we needed to do, given that we're talking about a percent in a word problem, is when we set it up, Hey, that percent that we needed to plug into the formula just needed to represent what we were looking for, the amount of money that Barbara had. My party people, as always, thanks for watching. Please make sure you're subscribed to the channel. That way you can see all the updates that we come out with so you can keep improving. So don't wait, subscribe now, and then while you wait for the next video, look here or there to see a related video that's gonna help you improve even more. Let's keep raising that score and let's get the job we want. I'll see you soon.